Hello everybody, hope you're having another blessed day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new deck I kind of put together. They kind of play in today's format, because uh, I finally decided, you know what, let's make ourselves a meta deck. So I decided to take one of my old decks that wasn't really, per se, meta at the moment, and I changed it to the meta version of a goddamn deck. Okay, now it's not Dark Wars, as much as I'd like to say it. You know, I still believe it's the best deck. It's not gonna be one I'm talking about today. It was a pretty, very good deck. No. What we're going down to today is my Melfi deck, so you probably know what I'm doing with this deck since I said we turn it into meta. Here we go. Boom! We got Tribe of Gay, Dogmatic, and Melfi. God dang deck. Okay. This is what I'm currently playing in this nice little 45 card deck. Let me just go through the little deck profile here, and then I'll show you some test hands and talk about why this is probably a really, really good deck right now. Because what I've done testing so far is that it is very, very consistent to get some form of combo popping off. Alright. Now, going through right now, you can see we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 hand traps in a 45 card deck. That is pretty, pretty good. You can take and play 13. 14, 13, 14, if you also want to play the ghost spells, which you know I'm not playing those in the main right now. So we're playing two of each of those copies, main because we're all playing across all desert in there. We're also playing three. Dogmatica Ecclesia, still have the Dogmatica package. It's going to be one with normal summon or special summons, depending on what we get. It can be the special summon if you use the sin off of a Tannic Lad, thanks to Nevera Servant. So that's the option we have there. New main is going to be the normal summon of her deck. You just go for the Tribigate engine as special summons. So it was the deck that plays a lot of normal summons. So it's either normal summon or special summon, depending on what kind of hand we have. We're playing free Rescue Cat. I don't know why that third one was way over there. We're playing free Rescue Cat. That gets us also into the full Tribigate combo. Let's you special summon out Hit and typically like one of our puppies or cats. So what we want to do to go into the Joyous Melfi. And then next turn we can usually send it off and kind of make our Melfi puppy into Kalatosis, maybe add a Hoppy or Scarves and kind of weird kind of play going off there, okay? And also get the Surge off of Kid to get into Keras, Hor, Rock Tail, whatever we need to get from there. And starting off with our big old line of hand traps, we're playing the two Lancia. This is very good in today's meta, man, because a lot of the best decks are banishing, including my own deck right now. Propagate banishes a lot, so... It's a very good kind of card just to shut down the deck at all. And also, vice versa, one of the best ways to stalk Dogmatica is of Artifact Lancia. So playing two of these in the deck to also be a target for Cross Out Designator. Also playing two Ash Blossom, because it's still like the best hand trap in the game. Two Droll, because again, Brightron is a deck. Also playing two Effect Veil, because again, this having in a monster game is very powerful in today's meta. And also again, Targets for Cross Out Designator, because this is a good hit on the Tribal Gate uh, Banish effects. We have to banish ourselves someone from an extra deck. Get hit by Effect Fail, hurts a lot. Then we're playing two of the Countosa for the targets for Puppy. Playing two Caddy. This is a good thing to search. This helps you search out not just Edel Melfi cards, but I can search out Rescue Cat. And it can actually search out the Keras and Kit. So again, helps get into those Tribal Gate combos, which is very nice with the whole Melfi kind of package. Puppy to get out whatever card we need, be it Countosa, be it maybe a Tribigate card, honestly. You never know. Then we have the two Nimbarus. Again, we all combo deck, so we are kind of uh, kind of damaged by, uh, if you're trying to go full off combo, Nimbaru does hurt the deck, but you can actually get into your Apollosa without your fifth summon, so you can actually play around Nimbaru, but in case we have that, and also a good thing to smack our opponent with. Uh, two Fractal, you don't need free because you already have enough normal summons. You have the Rescue Cat, you have the Ecclesia. You don't really want more normal summons, but you do want to have enough of the Tribal Gate package to make sure you get it off. Two Fractal, which starts you off into two kits. The one Flirterese, which is also be the add from Ecclesia if you already have the Punishment or don't want to go into the extra deck lock. Um, Hop Era Squadron, which is usually what you get added from Caddy oftentimes. Get in some synchro plays, helps you get like a double hand loop thanks to Desert Locust and Omega. Go on Keras and then the one on low for me, Nerf Owl. Going to spells, we have free cross out designator because I play this in any goddamn deck that summons more than once. <laughs> that's why also we're playing 12 hand traps and actually six different hand traps with the potential of seven different hand traps. 
And so we have a target for just about anything in the meta. Also, why we're main decking the Lancia's, because Lancia's like getting more main deck now. And Travagate is one of the best decks right now. Pain to free, uh, Obedient Skull. This is like the best combo card in the game. This plus Ecclesia. If you get that off, uh, you're going to be very, very, very happy. You get like a five negate, some really stupid double pop. Three negate, I don't know. It's a really dumb board with Obedient Skull and Ecclesia. Then you got the two Servants. Paying two of those, I mean, because you already had the three of those. And, you know, this card is very good. You can get like a double pop. You can get like a you can get like a pop and a search. So you know it's it can be very good. It can be very good. Um then you also got the call by the grave. Again, it goes with the cross out designator, hand trap kind of fighting against because you know you can banish the Lancia, banish the Ash, banish the troll, banish the effect failure. A lot of the main hand traps right now can also be stopped by call by the grave, so uh, why not play it? When it comes back to free, we'll play it to free also. If that ever does happen, I doubt it will. Uh, the one Tinky, because it's at one now. We will be playing it at two or three, but you know, we can't do that. Also, the reason why we're not playing the Zodiac engine, even though people do play Zodiacs sometimes, I prefer to have uh, the cross outs in there instead of Zodiacs. Uh, I'm playing the one upstart, because I didn't want to have a four to four card deck, and I decided, why not? We'll have a little bit of draw power. Why not? So we have that in there. Two effect uh, infinite impermanences as our last hand traps, and then the one punishment and the one revolt. Again, this one could be searched off of where you at, where you at, Rampant Rampager, after you use that card, use the link into Epilosa. And then Punishment can just be an option we can get from Ecclesia if we go into Ecclesia and we don't want to get the Fortery. So, just options we have. Hey, side deck real quick, before we get into extra deck. Two Ghost Spells, so we can just swap out some of the hand traps depending on what's, like, playing against, maybe not playing against a, a combo deck, we take out the Nibiru and toss in the Ghost Spells. You know, just the whole say. Same thing, we play Alpha in the side deck because we don't need it going first. We're going second, it can be an add off of Caddy. There's a good kind of this move a card from the board. It's a great way to out, out Dragoon, so just like that. The free Dark World No More because, again, it'll be good if we're going second. Same thing, the Lightning Storms because we don't like the back row decks at all. So we're going to take out Cosmics and also going to have the Twins. We're going to have Harpy's Feather Duster. And then if we're going first, we also will side an Imperial Order, probably for the place of Upstart. Um, mainly because this can just beat a lot of decks. A lot of decks need to fuse them and who needs to use those spells and just say no. Because once you make your combo, you don't really do any of your spells. You don't need to use Cross Out, you don't need to use Obedience again, Horn of Your Servant, or Call By, or any of these cards. None of these are really good after your first turn. So Imperial Orders is a very good card. And it's honestly, you can see main deck play potentially. Right? Then lastly, the extra deck are two fusion cards. It's the same for all. Uh, Dogmatic of Dex, we are playing Titanic Lad, because it lets you, when Sin, lets you add a horse plus summon, basically your Ecclesia, which then gets the other add, so that's really nice. And then Alta Intius, basically lets you pop two cards, so. That's very, very, very nice. That's your pop, right? Am I crazy? Uh... No, it's not. I don't know, I'm thinking going crazy on that part, that's a good you add. Whatever. Alright, then we have Ancient War Oath, which is what we can we go into if we can't get into Appaloosa. We will go into Ancient War Oath to get that free bounce. There's Appaloosa, which you use the Tribal Gate card to get the search. You can get the Omni Gate, typically like our fifth summon. Usually the play, think of it in my head right now, is that you typically go into, if you have the normal summon out, where you at? Like, normal summon out kit, and then you will send... With uh, Almiraz, send to the Gregor of Almiraz. You hopefully have no beast in your hand. You go for the play, get Keras, special summon to Keras, Keras strike, finish two. You get out the Rampager and then use all three. Get into Appaloosa, get the Rampager effect, search, get out the Revolt next turn, make into Ominous Win. Also get the second add, potentially get out a, fract a Fractal to your hand. No one's going to Fractal, banish two or three. You get into Doom Eagle and then you got OTK. Big mouthful there, but that's kind of like the combo of that. Then, of course, we have the Desperate Doom Eagle, which has the nice effect of doubling to god dang attack of 4,800. There's no monster to points graveyard. And it can also quick effect shuffle one of them back to the decks. That's very nice. Almirage is a good card when you kind of break with either uh, Nerval or Kit. You basically send to the grave to this card, and then you get the search, the send, and then the search effect. So that's really nice. Rampager is a card we use. Put some out so we can get into Revolt as a Revolt Searcher. 
uh, Baron Blossom. And just that you get the extra summon from your hand and also get the nice draw and then kind of put one card back in your deck. For example, if you accidentally drew, let's say you already drew like your Nerval or your Eris, I would say. I want you to have a way to add it. You can kind of draw a card that may be better and put that card back and then get that card back later. You know, it's kind of makes something up there. Ominous win. That's all free banish. That's really nice. And then we're playing the cards that help us with the use of Hop Ear Squadron, which is going to be a tuner for this deck. Because the combo is potentially use Hop Ear Squadron with like a Kalantosa, you can make it the Herald of Arc Light very easily. Or you can use Hop Ear Squadron and target like a Klesia, and you can go into a uh, Desert Locust, to no level 2, maybe like a Kit. Into a Mega, get the double rip. You can also get the search kind of going off. So that can be very, very good. We have the Zeus, because we also do play the Joyous Melfies and Melfi of the Forest, so that's how we get into our Zeus play. A lot of people do like the Zodiac, uh, Chakra 9, or was it the, the Bear Bow, or something like that. Yeah, we're not playing the Zodiac Agents, so our Zeus targets are going to be Joyous and also Melfi of the Forest. They do have a really cool effect. Like this one here. Yeah, you can attach one card to this card, and this card can actually attack directly. So potentially you can have like free materials on it. Uh, detach one attack correctly and go into Zeus, wipe the board. And then also be able to potentially get your searches from Kit, I think. Maybe, I don't know. That's very nice. And then Melfi Forest, you also get you add a puppy or a caddy. Well, that was a mouthful, but yeah, that is my 45 Private Gay Dogmatic uh, Melfi deck, you know, and I think it's really, really good. Which is why I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm saying Sage is better. Do you want to use House before saving? Yes, I do want to save. Thank you very much. Don't know what I changed. Let's just go and pop into a quick solo here. I can kind of show you how like the hands work. Made the first like ten hands. The kind of what we're messing with. All right. So yeah, looking at our first hand right here. Very good hand because we got Tinky. Tinky be the one we would use to add. The add effect was going to be if the game wants to work. One, one game, one game. Well, since it's kind of being a little bit of a butt, okay, there we go. So this would be the one you would add off of it, you would add Fractal to your hand, and then you would discard the Fractal, go into the Tribigate engine, and eventually you would see here, what could we make from here? So we would spin the Fractal, Fractal effect, we then dump the Kit, dump the Nerval, add the B, add the Keras, and... Okay. We haven't an enormous summon yet, so we don't have to waste uh, like this card, the puppy, to do that. So that's very nice on there. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to do like the Floaterese card because that's kind of a bad brick. Because typically, honestly, I would say what we would do if we already had like if this was a Clacia, we would actually discard a puppy, let summon out the Karaz, no one summon the Clacia, get the search for either punish for punishment, or we could actually search out the Floaterese for the negate. Yeah, for actual search out the punishment. Go into like an Appaloosa, set the punishment, have two hand traps, and then go off from there. But since we do not have that option, let's see, what would we want to do? That is a great, great question. I don't say we'll probably actually just normal summon the Keras. We would probably banish. We want to banish two? I think we're going to have to banish two, because I do really want to get the revolt search. Get the revolt search after you banish two for Rampager. I would banish Kit and Nerval. Just give us the Rampager. And then we'll probably just link those off. Into a... Yeah, into a... Uh, Baron Blossom here. I mean Rampager, yeah. Which would then trigger off where you at. Get the rampage, you get the add of revolt. We'll be able to do munch pass there. We will be able to set the puppy. Let's first out the puppy. We'll have to set the revolt. Have two ham traps in hand. Next turn, you always get the add again there. And you can also use a special summon out of the Baron Blossom. So we have some place there. We would actually end off with a board when this goes back to our hand. We were to get the pop. At uh, the Kalantosa. We'd also get the effect of Revolt. 
Which would then bring out all our cards back out again, trigger them all off again, which would get us eventually, I think, to the add of a Fractal, which would be really nice to help go into a place next turn. We would have Ominous Wind, so we would have OTK next turn with two hand traps in hand. Very good. I went over extension on that one, but you know what? Let's we'll check out some more hands. Next hand here. Okay, this one here, we have the Dogmatica package. So, of this one here, I would start off with Ecclesia. Ecclesia's effect, we would add off. I actually like, in this situation, I like to add the Florida Release today. I'm gonna add a Florida Release? Yeah, I think we're gonna add a Florida Release off of this play. So, let's add a Florida Release to our hand. And activate the Upstart. Then I'll draw, per se. Now, a hand trap there. Then we got two hand traps set. This is yeah, this is his hand trap city. So they're gonna have to deal with a call by the grave, they're gonna have to deal with that infinite permanence, they have to deal with a artifact lancia, they have to deal with a nibiru per se. And then they have to also deal with the Florida So that's just gate city, okay? And then let's see what's what's happening next turn. Next turn we get the cat. Oh my god. And then you get the whole tribe gate package, you just clobbering right there. So yeah, that's probably like an E to win on that one. Not a lot of decks play for that. Next one here, we got the obedience. Cool, that's really nice. We already got the Hoppier 2 and the Puppy. So from here, we would probably go into the Joyous play. We wouldn't actually use the Nerf out yet. We would go into the Joyous play of getting out your cards we would get out here. We would get out a Kalantosa. We would pick a Kit. And we would also pick a K just to have it out there. Okay, so that's our free summons. And we would actually just probably overlay all of these into... Joyous and probably pass after we special summoned in out Puppy, which does lock it into like the fifth summon. If we do get hit by Nivro at that point, you know what? Then the game just hates us. But that's probably what we would do at this point. We would be able to get out of Countosha play to pop once, second pop from the puppy, get the second Countosha out. We then use the caddy to add a rescue cat to the hand. We could also then use Hopper Squadron to go into the Desert Locust and uh, Mega Play to rip two more cards out of your opponent's hand. And also get the kit search to get into the well, kit would send uh probably send only, only the second fractile since you won't be able to get the nerve out of nerve already in the hand unfortunately yeah very interesting very interesting you could actually also, also go start off with a nerve summon a nerve out and use the salmigrate card go into the search of keras already so that's also an option you could do but you know you don't have to if i'd be overextending you would say that for your next turn Hey, what's what I do? Let's take two more. Let's take two more hands. Alright, again, this one here, we got the whole and beating score combo. We got the cross out to protect it, and we also got the one more hand trap, because we've always really seen a hand trap this deck. We got specimen out of Puppy and Caddy. I don't know if you go with Caddy. Honestly, I'll probably keep Caddy in my hand to use as a material to special summon out the Keras the next turn, not to get the add from Kit. It was special summon out the Puppy, which would be really nice, and we we'll always have Caddy on the board. That's pretty good. Alright. And let's do two more. I always said two more. Let's do it again. All right. Now this is actually the first one. We may have some problems, but it's not really as bad as you think. Okay. One, we had no thing to go with play, so all we really do is set two. But think about the cards we have set. Okay. The cards we have set. The first one, it's one cross that doesn't go protect those cards from being stopped. We also have two more hand traps, which are really good. We have the Lancet, which won't affect our play would go down. They really probably stop our opponent really well. The Ash Blossom, which is like an Omnigate, honestly, most decks. In this play, we'd be able to send out the Titanic Lag, pop a card, and then Titanic Lag effect during the end turn, we would be able to special summon out the Ecclesia. And then Ecclesia's effect would also get the add for the Florida Release. Be very, very good. Okay. And now next turn, see what we draw. We've got a Fractal. We wouldn't be able to go into our place, really. Mainly because we all locked in. Let's see, till the end of our end of this turn. Unfortunately, we would go past that, but we would be able to still discard to get ourselves ready for the package to go off. We'll be able to get the add eventually of the Keras to have the stuff in the grave already. And then on our opponent's turn, we would actually be able to use Top of Squadron with the Clacia to rip a card from our hand. So that'd be really nice that way too. I ain't it one more. I took one more of these out. Okay, and in this one here, we're going to have this dogmatic play we've seen before. We'll have the Ecclesia, we have the Protection Crossout to bait out a car if we need to. 
And then we would probably search for, I always like searching the Florida Reese. We would have two monster gates with this hand. Not the strongest, but still not bad. This is just a bad brick. I'll be honest with you, that's a bad brick. So let's see, we would go for the Florida Reese. The Florida Reese go to hand. We eventually would special summon a big, big old chunk of sky. The next turn draw. Look at that. A full combo piece right there. And you can discard a Kalantosha to get the special summon Keras. Number 72nd Klesha. Get to search for Dogmatic Punishment. We're in a very good situation. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, this deck knows what it is doing. It knows what it's doing. Alright. Of course there's some changes you can make. Like you may not want to play the call by the grave, you may not want to play the upstart. Some people are side and cross outs, again, up to your personal preference. Once you take all these cards out, I mean we're rocking a forty card deck, that'd be even more consistent. But what you could take out, maybe you don't have to scare of a back row deck. You may take out the Twin Twisters or the Cosmics. You may take out some Dark World No Mores because, you know, y'all playing a Cry for your Hand Traps. Surely your opponent will get that far ahead. And maybe you don't think you need more Hand Traps. You may take out the Ghost Spells, maybe even the Alpha. You know what you got room right there? You, can, you don't need to the upstart. They're going to need like four spots. So one, two, three, four. Found the room, 40 card deck. Again, it's just up to your preference. Now with that, that's going to do it for today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please, a little like on the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys, help you support me, host me, more videos, sure. Now, since it is in the video, you know what it's time for me to say. I hope this week is blessed, and I hope so again next video. With that in mind, I'm out.